friend. This is a grassroots campaign. We're going back to basics. Now, I've been serving the city in elected positions, mayor and council, for 22 years, and it's no secret that it has never been as bad in Santa Clara as it is now. Uh, the council is deeply divided. Council members do not speak to one another. So it's time. It's time for a change. It's time to elect new leadership. I mean, one of the reasons I'm not running is because I'm old. I'm done. We need new people. We need new ideas. We need people who represent the Santa Clarans of today and tomorrow. That's what we need. And I think that is exemplified in Tony Becker. And that's why I'm backing him 100%. Now let me tell you who Anthony is. We had two sons, Anthony and Robert. They were both born at the old Kaiser Hospital across from Central Park. Anthony has a brother, four years his junior. A stepsister, Renee, a stepbrother, David Jr. Growing up, my son Anthony, a source of pride for his family, especially his mother. He is a motivated and ambitious learner, always hungry for learning and change. I've had the privilege of watching Anthony grow into a fine young man. My name is Anthony Becker, and I have been a passionate resident about the way Santa Clara has been heading and the way our city is shaping. I am currently a Santa Clara Planning Commissioner, serve on other committees, and the co-chair of the nonprofit Dream Santa Clara. I know the city like the back of my hand. With my current role as a Planning Commissioner, I understand the decisions that go into the growth necessary to meet the needs of new Santa Clarans, yet our development must be inclusive and harmonious with existing neighborhoods. Your priorities are my priorities. Lately, I see a broken system in our city. It is lacking the right leadership. Our hometown is facing the need for change, for young, fresh ideas, for a new voice, for a new day in our mission city. Our city is in a state of deficit spending, mounting lawsuits, and discord in government. It is time for change, for a time for a light bearer to lead us out of this darkness. Many have said to me that you can't stop this Gilmore machine. Yet I disagree because machines break down and often replaced with better and more efficient resources. This is our time. I am an ambitious Santa Clara that's wanting to lead us into this next generation to bring forth a new era, turn the tide, and finally give our city back to the people. We need to come together. We need to heal this divide. Let's pull off the greatest upset in Santa Clara history, and let's win this election and put me as the next mayor of the city of Santa Clara on November 6, 2018. But I did want to introduce uh, Dave Topkin, Dave Delosier, past city councilmen that are here, Planning Commissioner Seth James, Planning Commissioner Raj Chahal, who also is one of the people who's running for city council. Um, and I know that half of the women's club here, you have been commissioners in so many commissioners over the years. So people who love Santa Clara are right here in this room. Because these are people who have high integrity, high moral standards. They're not beholden to anyone. They're not beholden to unions or the chamber or anyone else. They're independent. They're, they're thinkers of tomorrow. They're what Santa Clara needs today. Just whatever you can do to spread the word. It's time for a change. It's time for Tony. I don't know about many of you, but I feel tomorrow is worth fighting for. With that, ladies and gentlemen, I proudly ask for your support for my son Anthony, the next mayor of Santa Clara.